welcome to a product review and today I'm going to uh, review a, a device that's called a masticating juicer which is by Philips and is because my old juicer died. I went to use it yesterday and found that the the uh, the clips on it were broken so I couldn't actually get it to work at all so I wanted to make some um, juice on my other channel which is the health channel and I couldn't do it so I've had to order a new uh, a new one and I went for this one because this one actually is supposed to get 80 80% 80 of your juice from the fruit out by um, a method called mastication it sounds a bit rude but it's not it's not really it's um it's basically a screw that turns and fruit goes in from the top and it is actually crushed by the the screw and then obviously it separates out the the pulp from the juice which uh drops down into a tray so but what we're going to do is we're going to open the the box have a look inside and then pop into my kitchen for later on and uh just see what happens with how it works hopefully it'll work quite well now i got this one from amazon and there is a link in the in the description down below and you can actually uh, click the link and i will get the uh, any sort of commission on the affiliate link so if you want to help me out then don't forget click the link down below right so this product has um a extra large feeding tube it is a two-year guarantee and was um, 125 pounds now yeah it was also on um some other site which i've set my mind but oh yeah argos it was on argos and it was 239 pounds so almost it was nearly a hundred pound cheaper to buy it from amazon and i have no idea why that price was 239 pound however from amazon and it was even with next day delivery um it was still cheap so let's um open up the box and have a look inside so we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go on to the other the other camera and uh so three two one we're on the other camera <laughs> We're on, we're on the other camera now, okay? So, let's clear the desk and make room. And then we'll, oh yeah, we better move the mic as well because um, it's in the way. Really box actually. Let's move that over there. Okay, so, a very large box. <laughs> Can you see me? Possibly, possibly not. Anyway, so a bit of cardboard. We don't want that. There's um, some instruction manual. We don't really want that. And then we got the two cardboard uh, carton type things which are holding the product in box. I need a bigger office. So, what do we have here? Oh, there's, um, there's like a, what do they call it, a menu guide. No, not menu, recipe, a recipe guide. <laughs> yeah, that's what they call it, isn't it? Recipe. So this is um, loads of plastic bags and things. Oh, cool. So the recipe book. There's the recipes in there, obviously. <laughs> I don't know what else there would be if it wasn't a recipe. Um, then we've got the UK plug, which is there. 
and then we've got the half a carton. Now inside, that looks like a plunger. Yeah, it actually looks like something from a from a Hoover actually to be nice. So that's the plunger. Um, here we have. Oh, this is the the tray for the juice. Tray for the juice, and inside the tray for the juice. This is probably for pulp, so the after you juice. Apologies for the plastic bag noises. Okay, then we come on to the major aspects of this uh, product. So we have the actual um, juice up thing. So this is actually where the the fruit will go in here and this, will, this is actually the um, thing I told you about the screw um, device so that's that and then finally the last thing there is actually the motor it's quite heavy actually Get rid of the box. And more plastic bags. So there we are. There's the actual um, the motor. Now we can seal this. And where we are, we'll have a better look when we go into the kitchen, I think, because it's a lot easier. A lot more room in the kitchen it looks like this tray thing can go on on here fits on here um, and then this one is the actual pulp and then this this locks onto the onto the thing there is a there is a, um, a mark on it to, to line up and then you put it in and then twist try to do it there's a button um, there and um, there's a little lever here I don't know whether you can see that or not but there is a little lever there which would um, allow the flow of uh, juice to come out so you can actually stop it from um, you know pouring out there um, there is an end an end part which you uh, can unlock again comes off the end of it in case you get a load of um, fruit stuck inside you can give it a wash out it's all fully washable it's all dishwasher proof um, this this part of it is actual where the pulp comes out um, out of the bottom there so it's um again it lines up and you twist and lock and then of course you have the the pulp thing now there's no way I mean that would actually move so I don't know um, not sure it's very I mean you could easily bang that and knock it out of the way and then you end up with fruit all over your desk uh, the lever thing goes in the top there um, you can push down the fruit Push down the fruit. And basically the, the screw drive um, can uh, can be controlled with uh, two buttons there. So we've got on off and then go and backwards and forwards and things like that. Um, you can see that this is the screw inside there. This, this isn't very good. This actually moving um, I don't like that idea I think it should be um, fixed in place 
but you know we'll, we'll have a go and uh, see what happens okay so that's the quick unboxing and uh, we're going to take it into the into the kitchen now and uh, see if we can get it to work and i'll show you how to make juice hello welcome to my kitchen and uh sorry about the uh, yellow lighting i've put uh, one of my other lights in here to try and help the uh lighting control uh so we're here to make this uh, juice uh it's going to be a juice rather than a blend i'm not going to use a blender so the um the idea of this is we're using the new Philips masticating juicer <laughs> masticating so we're going to masticate um essentially essentially what this means is it will take out 80 percent of the juice by really sort of wringing it into um there's a like a, a screw a screw thread that moves it along and uh chops it up into little bits and then extracts the juice there is a very uh, good um little control that you can turn it on and off that will stop it from dripping so obviously when you've done your juice so you can take away the, the container and you could put this little uh, thing <laughs> whatever you want to call it little thing a little control and it will stop it from leaking all over the uh all over the desk and stuff so but the i'll show you in a minute but the actual bins are not very good because they do move around a little bit so you'd be very careful that they're in the right spot otherwise all of the stuff goes everywhere so what we're going to do is we're going to make um, a healthy juice this is to combat flu because it is the flu season obviously uh, you can buy herbs and things like this so this is nutmeg um, what we what we really want to be using today um, is turmeric uh, there's some cinnamon I have some some of these every day in my uh, in my uh, blended juice I do I do a uh, um, a fruit juice a blended one this is actually going to be a uh, juicer so it's going to extract the juice uh, obviously <coughs> bearing in mind that the actual fruit itself okay is where all of the nutrients are in the actual pit and, and what we're doing is we're extracting the juice from it and then we're chucking away all the pith so sometimes it's, it doesn't make sense but and you can also cook with the pith you can make cakes and things so you don't have to um waste it now i couldn't find any any turmeric root so we've only got powder but the actual ginger we have so we're going to be using that um we're going to be using obviously the the oranges the lovely big oranges and uh, we have um lemons and we have some organic apples and we have some carrots these are organic uh, carrots as well so and they're orange aren't they because they're, they're carrots <laughs> and uh, just for good measure and um, we're going to shove in some 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 um, cucumber just half of, of half of one of those what they call them you know, sticks i suppose now the claim for the, the juicer is that it has a very large opening but to be fair i don't think that these are going to go in so we're going to have to chop them in half and um no it's probably not going to go in um and um so we're going to do that now and we'll, we'll come back to you in a moment so here we have all the uh, all the goodies that we're going to use today now obviously if I have some turmeric root then I would be able to use that as well turmeric is very good it actually should be in the recipe so if you are doing this yourself then try and get some from somewhere or else you can get some powdered turmeric which isn't that good but it's better than nothing and um, yeah so shall we move over to actually doing it now okay so we're all ready to go little button there to turn it on it's not very noisy either so it's quite good there's a, there's a screw thing going through so we need to turn on the flow which is this one here that will lever so we turn that on 
And of course, see, all of the things fall over. So that's a lot of good. It's a bit annoying. So I think we'll try, uh, we'll try to do some juicing then. So we'll put some carrots in. Shove some lemons in. I don't like this fl uh, flap. It's not a very really good flap. And the pith um, beam is nearly full. And all we've done is some carrots and some lemons. So that's a bit annoying. We're probably going to have to empty the pith. And of course then it drops out when you're not looking. Right, let's carry on. Put the ginger in. Put the apple in. There's a button that you can press that will reverse the direction. It doesn't go any faster, unfortunately. I have an apple stuck in the actual tube and it will not go down. And of course I can't open the flap. Can't open the flap now because the apple is stuck in the actual tube. If I take the apple out. That's because the ginger's stuck. Ginger's not going through. This is a little bit annoying. Now, I 
don't really want to do this, but I'm going to have to shove her to try get the ginger, which is stuck. I'm going to see if I can shove it through. So I haven't taken the ginger from where it was. And then we can try it again. Of course you can't see what's going on because of this this thing here. I'm not even sure you can take it off, but um, it would be easier to see what's going on. I don't know if it's a label. Yeah. We've got like um, a piece of paper. You can see. So now you can now you can see what's going on with the ginger. This um plunger thing isn't long enough so it's not it's not able to push into the actual thing it's not just not long enough hmm very strange so let's see if we can risk killing ourselves That into there, shove the plunger back in. Hooray! Right, let's try let's try the apple again. Definitely, definitely that is not long enough, unfortunately. Let's try the um, cucumber. Take forever to juice. <clears throat> See that we're nearly full with the uh, pith again. We've only got a few more pieces left anyway. So you can see it's quite laborious to, to actually make any juice and um, pissing is full. I've got two halves of an orange and a whole lemon left. I think I'm probably going to call it a day on that and leave the others. There's um, quite a lot of stuff in there. And I've just realised, oh, no, I've only put one apple in because the other apple's on the floor. This is the result. We have um, the juice all done. And we should really turn the flow off. Um, if I can find the lever. There's the lever. Yeah, so we turn that off and then it should stop the actual drip. Right, I'm going to tidy up and then I'll show you the uh, the resulting juice in um, in a proper glass. Yeah, I, I'm got to be honest with you, I am a little bit disappointed with the performance of it. There's a few things that I would like, one of which is a a longer plunger because it's just about an inch too short, like we had there with the ginger being stuck 
you couldn't get any leverage on it and um, obviously that that meant I had to use a very dangerous method of shoving something else in there so uh, the final product it went everywhere as but as I thought it might so the container doesn't really have any pouring uh, methods so you have to sort of tip it and uh, I tipped it and it went all over the table so there is a, a mess so here is the the juice uh, we have I have tested it because I didn't I didn't I didn't want to taste it and find out it was absolutely disgusting but it is actually very very uh, very gingery and very orange as well It's really, really gingery. We have to bear in mind that this is the actual um, screw device. You can see that the piff is still in there that we have to get out. Um, and obviously this is going to have to be chucked in the bin. But you, when you feel it, it's actually quite dry. So it... You know, when they say 80%, then it probably is 80% of the juice is, is extracted. There's the, the juice tree. And there's not really any way to pour. One final uh, note, when I've been cleaning, it doesn't clean very well. Um, unfortunately, there's no way of getting in here. And there's all um, piff in, in the actual gap and also the actual uh, filter for the juice there's some piff in there but I can't clean it there's no way of taking this bit out so there is now it's now dirty inside there not sure what to do about it so there we go that's uh, the Philips masticating juicer it's a whole fruit uh, juicer which will get out the 80% of the juice and then leave separates out the juice and the pulp and of course you, you can use the pulp if you wish to make um, various um, cakes or things like that where you can put the uh, into um, into the cake itself and obviously then you wouldn't waste the product um, the actual pulp if you have like that then and you want to buy one then there is a link down below if you just to remind you um, I purchased it from Amazon and of course if you purchase via my link then I will get a small commission so I'll catch you again for another uh, review very soon bye for now